Hi purple people, it's Tamika. So I said I was gonna make another video and here I am. Um, so I was gonna make a video about one topic and then I've been battling with something else. So what I'm gonna do, y'all the lighting is crazy out here so you'll just have to see like a really bright me for now. Um, let me see if I can, that's a little bit better. Um, I've been battling with something else, so I'm going to talk about th that on this video, and then what I was originally going to make the video on, I'll do that another day, okay? Um, so epilepsy and migraines, y'all, I've done this video before, and I'm not going to stop making this video <laughs> until I get better answers, until I get a better solution. And until there's something better than what I'm currently getting. Um, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of backstory. I've been having migraines since I was a kid. And I don't mean like bad headaches, I mean migraines. They got worse as I got older. By the time I got to high school, like I would have to leave my car at school and someone would have to come get me. Um, and my migraines, like I go through the tunnel and my, I have ringing in my ears and, um, I have like my vision kind of goes out when, <clears throat> when I have a migraine. So like I said, as I get older, they get worse. Now it's to the point, it's pretty much constant, like and I mean that literally. I have a migraine every day of my life. It just varies in severity. So like most days my migraine is like at a five or a six, okay? I'm not exaggerating. Some days it'll creep up to a seven and it's like bad, but I'm like, it's not that much worse than it normally is, so I can deal with it. Past couple days, it's been at a 10. That does not happen very often. And 10s are bad. Like when you are talking to someone who deals with pain every day of their life, if they say their pain level is at a 10, that's like, for most people, they would think they're dying. <clears throat> um, it's really bad. So I've always asked my neurologist if my migraines and my epilepsy were related. And he was very adamant that they're not related. They're two completely different things. They have nothing to do with each other. I think it's malarkey. Of course, I don't have a degree in neurology or epileptology. I just have a degree in Tamika because I kind of lived with myself my whole life. <laughs> I know what my body is like on days and nights I have seizures. Um, and I know what my body is like on days I have migraines. And there definitely seems to be a correlation. I'm gonna keep making this video until I find answers because it's getting worse. I'm having more days of seven, eights, and nines, and um, it's getting bad. It's getting really bad, and it's getting bad. That's all I can say. Um, so I just, please, like a lot of people have reached out when I've made this video in the past and given me insight to, you know, like people in other countries have even reached out like, you know, I'm so sorry you're in the US because here in my country, you know, they take, they do see a correlation and this is how they handle it. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find a neurologist who will make that correlation. So, I'll keep looking y'all. So please, somebody, anybody, reach out and let me know what you think. I've tried almost every prescription drug on the market. Um, 
I've, and that's not an exaggeration. I really have. You have to think I've been dealing with this for so long that I really have tried almost everything because I've been on migraine medication for 10 or 15 years. So I really have, like, that's not an exaggeration when I say I've, I really have tried almost everything. I've even tried, like, some out-of-the-box stuff that may not be FDA approved. I don't know. I've just tried a lot of stuff, y'all. So, so if, if you're going to tell me some prescription, I've tried it. I've even tried that, like, the one that you snort. Like, it's in, it looks like the Advair from an inhaler, but, like, you, you snort it. Like, it's, yeah, you snort it. I've tried that. So, yeah, like, even if you don't give me advice, just tell me what you think. Like, if you have epilepsy and migraines, just tell me what you think. So, I've been battling that today. Like, yesterday was the peak. Yesterday was the peak, and I almost lost my mind. I was in so much pain. Today is so much better. I'm at like a six, and I feel like I'm on top of the world. Y'all, when you've been at a 10 for a couple days, when you drop down to a six, you feel like you can conquer the world. Like, it just feels so good. Like, it's almost like feeling no pain. Like, a six compared to a 10 is like no pain, so. Like, people don't understand what it's like to live with pain every day of your life. I don't know how to describe it. I really don't. So, if I keep talking, I'm going to go into my next video, and I don't want to do that. And plus, I want to keep this one kind of short, and it's already at seven minutes. So, this is my purple for today. I have a purple sweater on. Um, this is what I wore to church. <clears throat> church was awesome today it wasn't really a sermon it was more of um, thankfulness giving thanks and um, talking about outreach missions and going on mission trips and one in particular that our church does every year and I really want to go like this the one upcoming is full so maybe next next time I'm really interested in going one of my bucket list items is to go on a mission trip. I've been wanting to go since, oh my gosh, since I was in high school, I've always wanted to go on a mission trip. And I think I'm, I think God is calling me to go on a mission trip. I think, yeah, I think it's time. So I'm going to be prayerful about that, that the right one comes along at the right time. And I'm able to take off work and hopefully take the kids with me so that they can see and be more grateful. So, but I'm going to talk to you guys later. Um, since it's November, I am, you guys, you got to be patient with me and understanding of me being sick. I'm going to make as many videos as I can this month. Um, and I'm really going to try to get back onto making videos like I used to. I used to make videos all the time, but I wasn't working, y'all. <laughs> I'm working now. I'm going to try to get back on making videos, I promise. Um, so, until next time, I'll see y'all later. Love you. Bye.